Hi, so this is a video on doing Euler's method in Desmos. Um, it's not exactly a description of Euler's method or why Euler's method exists. Hopefully that is covered somewhere else in your content. But this is more specifically about using um, the Desmos online graphing calculator to do Euler's method. <clears throat> and so to sort, just sort of refresh part of the reason Euler's method is so effective is because with most differential equations, there's not necessarily a nice, easily obtainable solution, general solution to that, uh, to that differential equation. But as long as you can express the derivative of y as some sort of function of x and y, then given any point, we can evaluate it. Once we evaluate it, we can do local linear approximation. And once we do that, we can take a little small delta x, move forward, and get a new approximation, new point, new approximation. And so we can always use Euler's method even when other uh, uh, approaches aren't available to us. And for a good real-life application of this, I would suggest reading the book or watching the film Hidden Figures and Katherine Johnson using Euler's method to resolve a complicated differential equation necessary for a space flight. But we won't do anything that complicated here. Now, the downside to Euler's method, of course, is that to get any sort of halfway or even mediocre approximation involves a lot of computation, most of which is pretty easy, to be honest, but uh, not uh, tedious for sure and it's easy to make mistakes it's easy to forget the steps it's easy to to make little errors that compound into bigger mistakes going on and so while no specific step is intellectually challenging keeping it all together and keeping it all precise can be uh a tough task and, and kind of a, a tedious task. And so we use technology, and in this case, the free graphing calculator Desmos to help us along here. And so this is everything already pre-coded. This should be, by the time I post this video, be up in my website, and there should be a link below in the description. So let's just see what's going on here. We have f of x, y, which is going to represent the derivative of y with respect to x, dy, dx. And in this case, we're just using x, y to be that, uh, that differential equation, dy, dx is equal to x, y. And we have our initial value when x is 0, y is 1. Uh, k here represents the step that we're about to take. So this is about to be the first step right, that we take next because we haven't done a step yet. And delta x, in this case, is 0 0.1, meaning we're taking steps of size 0 0.1 as we go forward. And so uh, this is just an example. Of course, whatever you're doing, Euler's method, your dy dx could be different, your delta x could be different, your initial values could be different. Um, but let's just go take a look at what's underneath the hood the hood here. Since we're in the first step, we're going to set our current position to be uh, the vector x1 that step and y1 that step. So we're at the point 0, 1 here. The slope at 0, 1 is 0, and that's just an evaluation of x, uh, y at that point. So right at 0, 1, x times y is 0. And so the next x value is going to be the current x value plus our delta x. So in this case, the next value is going to be 0 0.1. Uh, the next y is going to be at y. We're going to add our rise over run, right? That's our slope times the run itself. And that tells you how much y should change. So this m times delta x, this is delta y. In this case, that is... Uh, uh, going to be 0, and so the total sum here is still 1, right? The slope is 0, so we're just going to cross. 
And then what the new point is going to be is going to be labeled on the side here. NX, NY, 0.11. And it plots the tangent line. And it uh, plots the slope of the tangent line at our current point. And so just following this along, if our steps are of size 0 0.1, then our next point is 0 0.11. And I move on to step two. As I move on to step two, right now I'm at this point. One times zero point one, that's slope zero point one. And so if I go four by another point one, I go up by another point one. So my next step is zero point two, one point oh one. And I can move on to the next step. So I've got these two, and now at 0 0.2, 1.01, my tangent slope is 0 0.202. And so my next x goes up by another 0.1, but my next y is now 1.0302. And if I moved on to step four, this continues on, right? It tells us what our next point is here. We should note that at a certain point, um, the displayed point here is not exactly the most accurate in decimals. It truncates it to a certain few decimal places. So once we start moving out in decimal places, we're gonna wanna come under the hood and see what the next Y is. So the next Y is not 1.0611, it's going to be 1.061106. 1 and if we moved on to our next step, we'd be there. And Solving a solvable differential equation, or separable, sorry, is beyond the scope of this current video. Sorry, but uh, the solution to this particular differential equation uh, with this initial condition of when x is 0, y is 1, is y equals e to the x squared over 2. And if we plot that, we see there is some error accumulating there, but otherwise it does more or less follow along the shape of that curve. Now, if we want it to be a lot more accurate, we could do so by using much smaller uh, delta x. But this is more of a proof of concept rather than you know a serious execution of Euler's method, which I would recommend using some computer algebra system like Sage or R or Python or Mathematica for. All right, let's um, do another quick example, maybe x plus one over y. At step one, that brings us to 0 0.1, 1.1. At step two, 0 0.2, 1.2. At step three, 0 0.3. 1.3 and it should not be too hard for us to check that y equals sorry y equals x plus 1 is in fact a perfectly good solution to this differential equation you can check that the derivative of uh, y with respect to x is 1, 
and if y is x plus 1, then x plus 1 over x plus 1 is in fact 1. So that is our solution here, and we have uh, that all this method has given us the exact points on this solution. So hopefully this gives us a sense of how uh, all this method could be done in Desmos and could be done fairly easily and accurately without the tedium of doing a bunch of computations and the potential for errors that doing a bunch of hand computations would make. All right. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful. See you some other time.